Greetings, the Astro 30 here. How you going? Anyway, in today's video I'm going to be explaining the concept of a bridge tied load amplifier or BTL. But first we're going to look at for reference a standard stereo amplifier layout. So in this crude drawing I've got two channels, channel 1, channel 2, left, right. I've drawn them as op amps with negative feedback employed just for simplicity. Um, when you bridge tie load an amplifier it doesn't really matter which class it is you can use all the way up to class D if you want to. As we see in this drawing we've got two separate channels and two separate speakers of 8 ohms each. That's our standard stereo layout. Now we're going to assume for this particular example that the amplifier's output on each channel is going to be roughly 50 watts. Okay and as we have in this simple drawing we've got two amplifiers basically back to back with the speaker now going to each separate output. On a standard stereo amplifier, usually the speaker is referenced to its ground or earth. In this case, the bridge tide load does not use the earth. Keep that in mind. What is the advantages of having a bridge tide load? Well, it doubles effectively the power output. So take our example of a 50 watt per channel amplifier. Now the speaker is seeing effectively 100 watt across it. There is a disadvantage to this. Unless each of these amplifiers are capable of driving 2 ohm loads, you cannot use a 4 ohm speaker. Because effectively each channel is now seeing half the speaker impedance. So for 8 ohms, we are now seeing on each channel 4 ohms effectively. Now the other thing is, each amplifier phase has to be different. The one here on the left can be in phase, so zero rotation. However, the other amplifier has to be driven 180 degrees out of phase with the first one, or it's not going to work. Because if you have both in-phase signals going into each amplifier, effectively it's going to cancel out the signal. So you'll have no output. So how do we drive this circuitry to make it bridge tied? Well, by modifying around the circuit a bit, we can use an inverting op amp to drive the 180 degree out of phase signal into the second amplifier. We pass one input signal here on the left, goes into this inverting amplifier, phase shifts it around 180 degrees and passes it into the second amplifier. It's that simple. And there it is on screen bigger for you for better reference. That's the simplest way to bridge tie an amplifier using a single op amp stage. You could use a non-inverting buffer for the first amp if you wish, but I don't see the need. And so we're just going to look at a couple of pros and cons here. One of the pros is you get double the output power from your stereo amplifier. However, two of the cons for that is, unless the amplifier can drive two ohm loads as previously explained, you cannot, and I mean cannot, use four ohm loudspeakers. They have to be eight ohms or more. Second con is you've now limited your stereo amplifier to mono. So then that begs the question why would you do it? Well double power. However if you want more power you should probably use a more powerful amplifier. Just saying. Now take for example you wanted to use this for band work we want to bridge tie two power amplifiers together on bass or electric guitar just to get more power again by more powerful amplifier then you could bridge tie that into your speaker cabinet. However, a lot of instrument speaker cabinets are 4 ohms, so that's something to watch out for. Again, use a bigger power amplifier. For PA work, if you wanted to boost the output power of, say, a 200 watt per channel PA amplifier, you could bridge tie it if you wanted to. However, most sound reinforcement amplifiers are in the realms of class G and class H which are classes I am not going to cover. I did think of one other pro to this. You can use any class of amplifier from class A, class B, even though it would sound crap, class AB, and class D respectively. So that's my take on bridge tied loads or BTL amplifiers and the simplicity of doing it. It's fun to experiment with. Yes, you get more power, but again, you severely limit the driving capability of that amplifier. 
However, I've been the Astro30. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe below, and you can always follow me on Facebook. And you can support me on Patreon for $2 USD a month. It's basically one cup of coffee per month. Anyway, I'm the Astro30 saying, see ya, have a great day. <laughs>